Hello everyone. So, um, yeah, I just, I had to talk about this. Um, so I had, uh, a fight, um, with my roommate, uh, to whom I'm also related, and my landlord, and they're friends. So anytime there's any kind of disagreement, they gang up on me and make everything like it's my fault. Now, they moved into the house that they're in now uh, about 12 years ago. And in those 12 years, they have never cleaned it. Not once. Ever. They have never... They don't throw anything away. Every time they get a package, they just throw it in some corner someplace. Well, eventually those corners fill up. So all the space is starting to do this inside the house. On top of all that, um, my idiot brother, who was also a roommate, um, plays continuously a classic rock station in the living room, blaring 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. And so, after putting up with that for a few months, uh, several years ago, I said, fuck this, I need my own space. So I bought that trailer, the trailer that you guys always see me in. Um, and that was a lifesaver. Uh, it was just, living with that guy is impossible. You have to be insane to live with him. Insane or... Um, incredibly meek because he tries to control everyone around him and uh, I'm just not that way I'm I'm not one of his fucking friends I don't even fucking like him um because he's an asshole and he's fucking psycho and he draws in other psychos you know I mean I'm living here because you know desperate times and all that so it's not... I've had idiots tell me, we'll just move. Well, gee, I never fucking thought of that before. It's like if I could fucking move, I already would have fucking done it. Dumbass. Um, I just... I hate it when people give overly simplistic answers to complex questions. Um, but... Uh, so they never clean their house at all ever. The bathroom was a nightmare. And the thing is, I'm coming into a situation many years later. And so the gunk and the grime and the stuff has already built up. Um, my landlord is a mama's boy. His mommy, he lived with his parents until they died when he was like in his late 40s. And, um, and he always had his mommy cleaning up after him. So this guy's a fucking tornado of garbage. He just leaves shit, like, on the floor. He comes home from work. He's got all these bags and all this crap. He just dumps it on the floor and then walks away. This same guy, he's had some health problems recently. Yeah, he, uh, he has to wear diapers now, which happens. You know, people get older, it happens. I'm not making fun of him um, for that, but... You expect that when someone soils them, that they put them in a garbage, you know, somewhere where it's... Yeah, he just left them on the floor, full of his shit, just on the floor. And when I said, hey, can you not do this? I got, When I tell my landlord that, he just goes, ugh. Or he just doesn't acknowledge that I said anything to him. So... I had to go out today, and I needed to take a shower, and, uh, oh, by the way, my brother, yeah, he doesn't shower, ever. He goes months and months and months without showering, and, um, so that tells you what, how grimy these people in their houses are. I mean, they both stink just horribly. Um, so... Last night, or yesterday, they have some stranger come over. 
and I'm like, Who's, who the hell is this guy? You know? Oh, he's going to help us with this and that. Uh, okay, whatever. Um, just some rando they met someplace, and um, and he he helps him with something, and then he goes and cleans the house. And I'm like, partially. I'm like, okay. I'm like, why, why are you cleaning the house now after 12 years? I mean, you know, but it was this guy doing it, but I didn't know that. So I, last night I go into the bathroom, and he's cleaned the bathroom, but all the garbage that had built up over the decade previously was all in the bathtub. Dirty diapers and all. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, this obviously isn't clean. And it's not my mess. I, every time I have any kind of garbage, I throw it away. You know, um, I mean, there were empty containers of, of stuff that had been in there for years and just never thrown away. And it's like, I'm not these guys' mommy, you know? If I clean up after them, then there's going to be the expectation from them that I just do that. But I'm not going to do that. Because then they'll just expect it. And then eventually they'll demand it. And it's like, uh, no, I'm the renter. You're the landlord. You're supposed to keep shit clean, you know, and functional, which they never do. Um, and uh, so I go to my brother and I say, hey, um, the bathtub's full of crap. Can you clean it out? And it's like... It's like if your landlord came over to your place to fix something and then just took a bunch of garbage and dumped it in your bathtub or something else. It's like, I didn't accrue this. I didn't make it. Clean it up. You know, I'm paying rent here to be able to use these facilities. You know, if I make a mess, I clean it up. But they never do. And uh, they were like, well, why don't you just clean it up? I said, because it's not my fucking house. It's not my fucking mess. I'm not the one who just throws shit on the ground and walks away from it. And my idiot brother was like, well, you should just be glad that, that it was cleaned. I said, but it's not clean, is it, dipshit? Because there's fucking garbage in the goddamn bathtub. It was literally full of garbage. My landlord... He'll just strip off his clothes. He doesn't have a dirty clothes hamper or a single place where he puts his dirty clothes usually. He'll shit himself and he'll just dump the clothes into the bathroom. Just just dump them openly, you know, not put them in anything. Just pile them up in, in the bathroom. I'm like, Jesus Christ, you know. Um... It's it's insane. I mean, these guys are fucking insane. They make a mess in their whole fucking house, and then they expect me to clean it up? No, fuck you. That's your job, your house. I had to pay a ton of fucking money, thousands of dollars, to buy a fucking trailer just so I could be away from these guys. You know? And, um, because the rents are so outrageous here. And it's just like, oh my god. And so we got into a screaming match. And I, I didn't yell. I was not the first person to yell. I went in there and said, hey, you know, this stuff is piled up inside here. Can you clean it out? It was my asshole brother that started yelling. And then my landlord started yelling. So I started yelling. Um, these guys are arrogant, greedy, and selfish. And stupid. And... I have been really trying hard to get out of this situation. And, um, it's just, it's so fucking impossible. You know, the prices around here are so outrageous that, like, no matter what you do, you have to have roommates. You know, um, unless you're a fucking doctor or a lawyer or something like that. You know, you can't, houses go for half a million dollars here, and that's a shitty house. A shitty house goes for half a million fucking dollars here. 
a shitty house in the middle of fucking nowhere. And it's like, you know, I just, um, and this, I mean, this is not my first problem with a landlord. Um, I've had nothing but problems with landlords and roommates and neighbors. I've had neighbors try to start fights with me. I've had neighbors block my driveway and then call me an asshole for wanting my driveway to not be fucking blocked. That's how people... I don't know. I mean, it seems like this is a problem all over this fucking country. Um, but... I mean, it's like every fucking asshole I encounter, every person is an asshole, you know, who's inconsiderate and just, um, arrogant. It's like, this is, that's why, in part, this country's failing, you know, um, and, oh, God. It's like, you should just be happy that the bathroom's clean. But it's not fucking clean, dipshit. It's, you don't clean a space by taking all the garbage and putting it in the most useful part of that space. You know? It's like, oh, I, I cleaned your, your bathroom, but I can't use the, the bathtub. Because you threw all the garbage in there. Well, eventually I screamed at them enough. And my brother... Um, I screamed at them, at them enough to where they fucking eventually just acquiesced and did it. Um, and, uh, and they were saying that I don't clean up. You know, it's like, well, why the fuck should I? You don't give a shit, obviously. You never cleaned this fucking place since you moved in. And, um... This this asshole brother of mine, he's the same brother who would constantly misgender me and call me by my dead name. So that's the kind of asshole that this guy is. And I had to scream at him about that, too. I went, hey, look, you need to stop calling me by my dead name. You need to stop misgendering me. And he, st he starts yelling at me. <laughs> and I laid into him. Because it's the only thing that gets it through these thick fucking assholes heads they just don't oh my god yeah anyway so um I, I'm so tired of having to argue against these assholes stupidity and their greed and their selfishness um but the thing is you know I've I've been around for a while um I've been through this enough times with enough landlords and neighbors and other assholes that it's like I don't think there's anybody out there who has an ounce of sense or sanity you know um, I think everybody puts all of their own issues onto everyone else around them um, I just think that's how people are at this point. Um, that's how you can have 75 million people vote for an outright Nazi. So, um, and you see, yeah, I mean, you see it in politics and you see it in everyday life. I've had problems like that with doctor's offices and insurance companies and this and that, you know. Nobody wants to take responsibility. And that's really what we're talking about here, is these guys not taking responsibility for their own shit. In some cases, literally. Um, so, yeah, I, you know, I, I don't, just for my own mental well-being, I didn't harp on these guys to clean it up because I, I mentioned it a couple of times, and I saw how little it worked, I saw how they'd roll their eyes and act like I was, you know, asking them to, you know, give me one of their fucking kidneys or something. And, um, and so I didn't, I didn't press the issue, um, 
but every time I said anything, they acted like I'd been screaming it in their faces, you know, for 10 years. And it's just like, no, dumbass, you just need to do what you need to do, what you should have done a long time ago. Um, my dad used to tell a story about my, my brother. Um, when my brother was, I don't know, 12, 13, um, 11, 12, 13, somewhere in there, um, my dad came along and he he started seeing my mother. And my dad would want my brother to uh, do the dishes. And um, my brother would sit there with the hot water running and he would sit there with his hands in the sink not washing anything just staring off into space like an idiot never washed the fucking dishes just sat there with his hands in in soapy water that that's who this guy is he never grew up he's never taken responsibility for anything and he just, to this day, he's still sitting there, staring off into space, selfishly not doing um, what he should be doing. You know? He's still got his hands in that sink. And, um, yeah. He doesn't work. He can, he's capable, but he just doesn't want to. He's been living off of my landlord for 20 years. Um, his excuse used to be, oh, I have a bunch of child support, but now even by his own admission, he says, oh, the child support isn't a problem. It's like, okay, why don't you go out and get a job? He always says, oh, I wish I could get a job, but the child support, it's, it's, it's been the same thing for 20, oh, the child support, child support can't work, child support. And it's like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, so... This, this is the kind of stuff that happens when you have, when you live with sociopaths, um, just whacked out, fucked up people, and, um, yeah, so, um, here's hoping I find a better place, uh, anyway, um, yeah, so wish me luck, and um, at least, you know, it, I got it through their thick fucking heads, um, eventually, um, after they threatened me and all this other shit, and that, that hurts me, you know, that's, that's abusive to me, just screaming at me when I ask you to do something. You know, it's like, why? what kind of a psychopath does that? If you want to have a discussion about it, you know, if you feel it's unfair, then that's one thing. But you don't just start by screaming at someone. And that's insane. That's what insane people do. Um, so, yeah, I mean, my... That's in part where the abuse comes from, where I talked about it on my, on my channel. Um, and abuse... Um, transphobic abuse from my mother is what made me start a new channel in the first place. So, yeah. You know, that's a lot of queer people, you know, we we start our own families, you know, because our parents are so fucked up. You know, they disown us or whatever, which in itself is abusive and really fucked up. I mean, why would you do that? Why would you abuse and disown a child who is just expressing themselves. My being trans doesn't hurt my parents, you know. But, um, yeah, that's why we build our own families. And I think the best thing I can do is to just walk the fuck away from the abuse. But my my concern is that it will just I will go from one abusive situation to another which has been the pattern and it's not a pattern of my doing I don't seek these situations out you know it just happens and, and it really gets you down when it when it's just this constant barrage you know 
So, yeah. That's why I say wish me luck. So I'm going to need it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Um, have a good one.